When we add fractions without obviously using a calculator, the most important thing that we do is get the bottom of the fraction, the denominators, the same. Now one way you can do this is if you times the denominators together, then the common denominator will, you will always find a common denominator. The problem is that you won't always find the smallest one. Now I know 15 and 10, um, I can make them both 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to times the first one by 2, top and bottom. So I'm going to times the 2 at the top and the 15 at the bottom by 2. And then I'm going to times the second fraction by 3. And if I do that, then I get the bottoms to both be 30. So I'm going to rewrite the question again. So 2 times 2 is 4 over 30 plus 3, 3 times 3 is 9 over 30. So 15 and 10 can both go into 30. Now, the question I've written here is exactly the same as the question given to us. I've just made sure the denominators are both 30. And the easy thing to do now is just add the tops. So 4 plus 9 is 13 over 30. Now, I can't cancel that down anymore. So the answer is just 13 over 30.